that's tricky and the answer to this question will be different for different companies let me tell you why it's kind of hard to put a number or a percentage that x will be your roi because of multiple reasons uh, one it depends on your reason to switch to a new erp system and secondly what are the parameters you consider for calculating your roi now to keep it simple i can divide this into two main categories number one tangible roi and number two is intangible roi let's start with tangible roi tangible roi is something that is directly associated with the cost it can be decreased cost of manpower decreased cost of operations decreased revenue leakage you can directly put a number here right now intangible roi is tricky and that's where the game changes because it's something that is hard to associate a number with it can be higher employee satisfaction achieving operational excellence having centralized control over the processes right you can't really put a direct number here right now it's up to you how much weightage you give to each of these parameters and accordingly calculate your roi but see based on my experience i can assure you that if you implement an erp it's going to pay for itself and whatever additional you get that's a plus and at the end of the day you are getting a system that gives you access to any data or a report with a simple click and makes your business run smoothly now if that's not a good return then what is